Hi everyone, welcome back to Small Engineer Material. Today we have this Victor 2 stroke PT or Power Torque VE40 and it starts but stops right away. So today we have a guest, my son Cyrus, and we would like to, to show you how to troubleshoot and find problem with this unit and trying to fix it. And before we do that, I would like you to guess what's wrong with this unit and what's the problem before you watch throughout the video for the final fix and let's get started yeah. let's get started okay to show you what's the problem let's try to turn on the fuel tap and prime Yeah, so that's a problem. Okay, let's see who can guess it correctly. What's the problem with this unit? And what's your first guess? And you think it's uh, the spark? Spark is not, not a problem because the unit starts. So, second guess could be the spark plug. We'll see the spark plug. I will try to change the spark plug. It still does the same thing. Okay. Let's try to replace the spark plug. Dad, Dad. Yeah. You know you need a wrench. Yeah, no, no. I'm okay. I have a spanner. Uh, Let's try to change the spark plug. So we have a new spark plug. CJ8. Okay, so let's try to start the engine. Okay, let's try to start the engine. This will stop straight away. So, son, don't worry. This will stop. Okay. Yeah. Okay. okay. So, same same problem. So it's not that the uh, spark plug. So what about the who guessed for compression? Maybe compression. Okay, let's try to test the compression. Okay, can I have the compression test, uh, son? That one with the meter? Yeah, thank you. Okay, let's try to test for compression. So for the compression, what we expect here is uh, around 80 psi. So with uh, the compression valve, especially with the straight nozzle decompression valve, um, likely we'll get uh, less than 80 psi for this. That's okay. So let's try this one. This one won't start because uh, there's no spark plug, so don't have to worry. No. Okay. Mm. Okay. So yeah, yeah, that's okay. So we have uh, 90, 94 psi, which is yeah. really good. Yeah. So the compression is really good. Yeah, and then this is the fuel. Yeah, the fuel. So we have 90 psi. So it's not the compression. So what else do you think that's the problem with this uh, mower? It's not. Uh, it's not the spark plug. It's not the compression. It's not the spark. So should should be the the fuel system then. So well, do you think that the problem is the fuel tap block or vacuum on the fuel cap? But when they first started, the fuel cap was loose, so it's not the vacuum the fuel fuel cap. So so something to do with the carburetor. So, but first is we have to check for the fuel system. 
the fuel tap and we'll see if the fuel will will flow through that fuel hose here and we'll do that so I noticed that the fuel cap is not straight it's not horizontal so we'll fix it and we'll test the unit again so that's definitely there's a fuel inside the chamber okay so do you think that um, the fuel doesn't flow to the chamber so we will see if the fuel flows into that uh, fuel line we'll take this one out and the fuel should flow freely it doesn't so it drip only a little bit and so that might be the problem then so it's open and we have very low of fuel here so we'll, we'll try to fill up more more fuel but I'm sure this is not the problem so we have here uh, one liter of fuel uh, 25 to 1 Just one liter of fuel. That's pretty much a full, uh, full tank. Okay, so let's see if it's flowing the fuel. So that's definitely it's flowing freely. So let's try this one. So. To, to show you again we'll pull this one and you see that it's dripping freely okay so let's prime this one make sure this now start the engine So still the same thing. The engine starts and stops straight away. Now, what do you think is the problem? The there's a fuel going into the chamber, and we have a a good spark, brand new spark plug, a good compression. So must be something to do inside the chamber. Okay, so while we'll try to work on this unit, I'll give my my son something to play with or to fix. Can you fix this uh, trimmer? So it's up to you what you want to do with this one. Yeah, you can fix that. So there's some screws and uh, I'll try to fix that. So, so, so we, so it's still the same thing. Yeah, just put it, in, put it down. So still the same thing. So we 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 saw that the fuel it flows freely by by filling up more fuel, and there's no problem with the fuel tap. Yeah, and it's still not working. So we rule out the there's no problem with the spark, no problem with the spark plug, no problem with the compression, no problem with the fuel to the fuel hose here so it must be the carburetor so or the starter o-ring so we'll have a look at this too the carburetor and starter o-ring and let's see uh, what's the problem but that might be the problem I don't think so so at the end of the video I will show you what's the problem with this unit okay so we'll, we'll take this uh, calling apart we'll take it off and we'll
that's why okay so we have this uh and we'll check for we'll pull this one apart and we'll have a look at for the slider o-ring pull assembly huh? it's a assembly. What's assembly yeah for starting Okay. Okay. So, so the, we have the starter o-ring here, which is uh, not quite in good shape. So there's a little bit of damage on one side. So they think this is the problem. So we'll try to replace this one then. So we have to clean this one and replace it with a new starter o-ring. Okay, so let's clean this one. Okay. So it's pretty much clean. And we install. Yeah, that's okay. Just leave it. There. So install the new starter o-ring. Put a little bit of uh, oil around it so it's easy to install. Okay. So let's try this one. So do you think that it will start now? We'll try. So we have, we have replaced the starter o-ring and let's see if it starts. So let's prime this. Still won't start. So that's not the problem. So what do you think would be the problem is? So why, if it start, straight, stop straight away. So it must be the carburetor. So let's pull the carburetor apart and let's see what's wrong with the carburetor. So we'll clean the carburetor so it's so when we pull, put this band back so it won't have too much dirt and uh, so minimize the cleaning. So that's the governor vacuum governor. Okay, so we can rotate this one. And then 
pull. So here, to remove this part, we just pull that, this one, then this part here. So there's definitely a fair bit of fuel inside the chamber. So let's inspect the the o-ring. Make sure there's no crack on it. We're pretty much still in very good shape. So for now, we'll uh, keep this uh, original. Uh, Victor needle so if we have problem with the fuel leaks uh, leaking fuels or through the primer cap then we can replace this one with the vitamin tip uh, metal needle that we have so I'm checking for the primer cap to make sure that uh, when you place a primer cap it's just sitting flat but this one in this case it's a little bit of warp already so you can see that it's moving so but still with the the o-ring or cup o-ring as long as it doesn't um, leak fuel on the bottom so it's okay so looking on the puppet valve let me make sure that uh, we have to remember what the setting of the prop puppet bulb so let's try to check for the diaphragm spring so spring um, which is still in in good shape let's make sure that Everything is, uh, we don't lose everything. Try to remove this uh, retaining plate. So this is the diaphragm retaining plate. So the diaphragm, still in good shape. So we can take the So to take the diaphragm, I just uh, insert uh, between the spring, between the return spring and the diaphragm on the bottom part and just uh, wedge this one. So we have the power valve underneath also. So pretty much um, all removed. So inside, uh, pretty much uh, all uh, clean and in good shape so we don't we, we don't have to remove this one for now because uh, so we don't have to take this one out if you want to know how to install the the throttle um, lever you can see my other video so you can see that uh, So this one has uh, the stop switch uh, plug, which is uh, in this part here. So knowing what uh, type of cutoff plug that you have, whether it's small or short or long, the, the only thing that you can see if the pin is larger in size in diameter and you must use um, a shorter cutoff plug. So when the diameter of this one is smaller, that means you need to use a longer uh, cutoff plug. So you can insert the cutoff plug from this, this side here. So this type of uh, pin is designed for the short uh, cutoff plug. So cutoff plug, plug is not in really in good shape, so we can also replace this one, it's not a problem but um, overall for this condition with the diaphragm 
it's in good shape and was sitting properly on the one here I can't see any issue why this one's still not running so pretty much the carburetor is in good shape so why why is it still not uh, running so we'll assemble this one and we'll show I'll show you the final uh, solution or the final findings to what's wrong with this unit uh, aside from uh, checking everything and we rule out all the possible uh, problem with this more and I'll show you what's the problem So we will assemble this one. So we'll change that this plug. Okay. Okay. First is uh, we need to place the place the lifter. Just um, as we go through the guide. Then the control spring. So we set the, the puppet bulb underneath. So we will we will adjust the setting of the puppet bulb once we place the, the diaphragm. So next one is the diaphragm. Okay. So retain, retaining there from retaining plate. Let's slide it and make sure that the the lip of the diaphragm is sitting properly around the the edge. So next part is the this is the return spring. And cover. So this one is facing towards the the cutoff plug. Yeah, hold it firmly and just close it. Okay, now this side here. So this one's facing like that. So the O-ring is still in good shape, so we can still use the O-ring. use the needle so we will replace the needle once again and if you have any if it starts to leak this part here you can replace this one with the vacuum tip otherwise you just leave it as it is like that so make sure this is um, this part here is and Horizontal position. Then the jet. So now we can install this one. We just uh, first as we need to make sure to install this one first. So here at the back, just so when you insert this one, if it doesn't go, so set the move the throttle. To the position where it you can see that it doesn't block the 
inside somewhere on the before the maximum uh, throttle okay pretty much we rebuilt the carburetor and we'll see if it's still um, same problem or we can start the unit so let's prime this one wow still not working right so pretty much we covered most of the guesses um, what's wrong with the unit it's not the spark plug it's not the the compression so it's not the spark pretty much it's not the fuel line system it's not the starter o-ring and it's not the carburetor so what would be the problem I'll tell you what's the problem and see this one okay so see what I'm doing just turn off that one So, so we'll get a new one, main jet, okay. Okay, let's start the engine. So, after replacing the main jet, the engine won't, didn't start straight away because the, the engine was already flooded. So, after a couple of uh, retry. So now, if we start the engine, it should start straight away. Thanks for watching our video repertoire for today. I hope you find it useful and enjoy our uh, video repertoire. It's um, it's a pretty simple fix, but we go through the hard way. So I think it's worth of your thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. And thanks for watching. Anyway, I forgot to mention that this unit is belongs to uh, George from Carlingford, uh, New South Wales. And thanks George for this uh, opportunity to fix your unit and for other for the rest of the subscribers and thanks for watching and i'll see you next time